Hi guys, here is Henry. I'm living 100 kilometers north from Fukushima Daiichi and reflecting on the nuclear crisis. I just would like to share one thing with you today. It just cannot go away from my mind. Two days before I saw on the news meeting on which were the Kurihara people and they met the representatives of the Miyagi prefecture with the mayor of Miyagi prefecture. And uh, what happened in Kurihara city was that uh, Kurihara city was hit by the fallout. They are uh, positioned 50 kilometers north from Sendai city, which makes 150 kilometers north from Fukushima Daiichi. Still, they were hit by the cloud, which went like this to Kurihara. Sendai is approximately here. This is Fukushima. Then uh, they were hit. You heard about the affair with the contaminated meat and this was cause of the straws from uh, uh, Shirakawa which is south from Fukushima and Kurihara which is north north from uh, there so now they have 907 tons of this contaminated rice straws and they they don't know what to do with it and of course the prefecture and the city leaders they decided to put it somewhere close to their city People were angry. The woman was crying. Old man was screaming on them. No young people. No young people. I didn't see anybody in 18 year old, 20, 25, 30s. I didn't see those people there. Why is it? How education works in Japan to educate such a such a young people, they really don't care. Well, I think it's maybe our mistake, our fathers, us, we didn't care much about the nuclear power. So they already have the answer, because here in Japan and in the whole world, the system of testing people in the school is like A, B, C, D, and you have one right answer inside and you just have to hit it. So you already have the right answer. This is the new way of system in the schools which make you uh, not creative the fantasy will be lost from your universe and the humanity will be pushed down and this is what you get with the school system like this so somebody has to fix this because now those people are desperate there. They have to live with the contaminated rice surrounding them. Or they, or they have to leave from there. So what went wrong? All those people and us, we simply ignore the fact that nuclear power is dangerous is very expensive and uh, is not ecological they already destroyed many lands I just recently learned that uh, in 1958 or 57 there was a huge nuclear disaster behind Ural in uh, Russia. I didn't know about this one. So we had a huge one behind the Ural, Chernobyl, Fukushima and some smaller accidents. And uh, I think we should stop this because we are losing our land. And uh, as Chaplin said, Charles Chaplin, the earth is rich, there is enough place for everybody, and we shouldn't forget about our humanity. There are still some people who want to make a huge bunch of money on what they started, but we have to stop them. We have to stop this. We are paying for our ignorance right now. Maybe you not doesn't mean you have to ignore it. How 
far away from your home is your nuclear power plant. Ask yourself.